and in a special way we pray for the fathers who are traveling and the group that the God bless their journey and reach their destination safe and sound to become a source of hope, joy and unity. Together we call our particular intentions, we begin our celebration. The name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. First reading. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he told you shall all that he did you shall do when it happens. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, by a sudden blow. I am taking away from you the delight of your eyes. But do not mourn or weep or shed any tears. Groan in silence. Make no lament for the dead. Bind on your turban. Put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your bed and do not eat the customary bread. That evening, my wife died, and the next morning, I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, Will you not tell us what all these things that you are doing mean for us? I therefore spoke to the people that morning, saying to them, Thus the word of the Lord came to me. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I will, not, I will now desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold of your pride. The sons and daughters you left behind shall fall by the sword. Ezekiel shall be a sign for you. All that he did, you shall do when it happens. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. You shall do as I have done. Not covering your beards, nor eating the, nor eating the customary bread. Your turbans shall remain on your heads, your sandals on your feet. You shall not know or weep. But you shall rot away because of your sins and grow one to another. The word of the Lord. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. 
You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger towards his sons and daughters. You have forgotten the God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are. Sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten the God. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people, with a foolish nation, I will anger them. You have forgotten God. Today we hear one of the fundamental questions a young man or a Christian asks Jesus, what must I do in order to enter eternal life? What must I do to remain perfect? What must I do to be a happy Christian? Our Christian witness must be accompanied by charity. Christianity without charity amounts to mere lip service before God. It is not enough to keep God's commandments. We must also ensure that we do not make material things as idols of our life. This young man was blessed with material things by God, but he was so much attached to material things. He never wanted to give any space, any place in his heart for the neighbor. 
And for him, keeping commandments was enough. But as Christian, keeping commandments is a good thing, but not sufficient. We must do something extra, which must be accompanied by love and charity. Without that, we are Christians by name. Actions speak louder than the words. This is exactly what Jesus is calling us to do. The key to generosity is it? knowing where one's security lies. Where is exactly your security? Where is your happiness? Is it in my job I have? In the material things I have accumulated? In my friends or what? If my security lies in anything material, I'll become stingy. I make this material thing to become my idol and I eliminate God from my life. The young man walked away sorrowful, sad, because he could not imagine life without his material things. He felt he would die without money, without his material things, expensive clothes, maybe shoes, houses. He said, life without these things is useless, it's nothing. Let us try to put ourselves in this young man's shoes and allow the words of Jesus to sound again in our ears. If you want to be perfect, go and sell what you possess and give it to the poor and you will be rich. Not necessarily you are going to sell your material things. Some of the things we carry in our lives become obstacles to our Christian witness. Maybe anger, jealous, envy. These become obstacles in our life. What must you know so that you are perfect? So that you worship God with undivided heart. Are you going to walk away sad because I'm saying it is? In fact, this young man is recorded in the Bible because he never recognized who is God. For him, everything was in it, material things. Nothing in this world is capable of bringing us lasting happiness. Our hearts are restless until they rest in, it, in you, Lord, as said St. Augustine. In fact, true freedom and happiness is willingness to risk losing everything because we know God alone is our security, our happiness. Let us try to shun away and stop worshipping some of the things we have which will not take us far. Naked I came in this world, naked I will return. Job reminds us. So let us ask the Lord today, what will I gain at the end of life if I possess the whole world, but at the end of the, the life, at the end of my life I lose the soul? Let us work for the good of the soul at the end of the time. And this one will only be achieved when we detach from our material things. Let us use the material things for building up friendship with God and others. Share whatever you have with others. Oh God, give us the grace of inner freedom, of knowing what we must detach to be what of your call. As part of God's chosen family, we humbly bring our needs to our Father for Pope Francis and all bishops. May the Holy Spirit guide them as they shepherd God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, for a great respect for all human life, from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, God, God, for all who mourn. May God grant them peace and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For our community gathered here, may the Lord bless us with an everlasting faith in Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all the faithful departed, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, May they be brought into the fullness of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For 
all the prayers we have and petitions, we present them to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercy and love, we thank you for listening to the prayers we bring you. Hear and answer them. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of our Lord and we profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are child spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have visited this rough in the ages, we will let you be conquered to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and with him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, God in the name, thy kingdom come, try and be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us in this day. And give us this now to the church, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the present hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the Father, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take your body in the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your body in the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your body in the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take your body in the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Michael the Archangel, 